Shalom and welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today I am taking a skirt that uh, was given to me as a hand-me-down or someone didn't want it anymore and thought I might be able to use it. So um, the skirt is really pretty, I think, but it's probably a size or two too big and it's a little bit too short. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting it and I already started to so right here I don't know if you can see it I'll turn it over there's a rubber band here right here and so and then this is supposed to be like one of those yoga waistbands it's uh, double um, two layers here folded over and stitched into this waistband here so there's this elastic here which I don't like it um, because I actually want the skirt to fit my waist right up here so originally I was gonna just open it up here and put in a waistband but then I realized that this is double layer so I can make the skirt even longer so what I'm gonna do is cut it where the rubber band is here and cut off this rubber band and then open up these layers so I get two layers and then make the skirt longer so it'll be this length plus another um, double this length so uh, I'm gonna cut it and show you where I'm gonna stitch it up so I don't have my tripod here right now but I'll try to show you this is where this is where the rubber band is right here and I'm cutting it right here to take it off and then when I'm done I'll just show you I'm gonna cut it also on this side to get rid of the rubber band so I'm cutting it on both sides of this rubber band and as you see here this is going to be a double layer that I can use because this skirt is only one layer to begin with so I'm going to make this a double layer, pull it out, and then stitch it back onto itself here so that I can get a longer skirt. So we'll see what it looks like after I'm done cutting and I start to uh, pin it and sew it down. All right, so I've cut my skirt. This part here is the bottom part of the skirt. This is the bottom hem right here. And so from here to the original, what was the waistband, is about 22 inches. I cut the waistband here, and then this was the fold over yoga top, which I've now um, straightened out. So this piece is about, if you stretch it out, it's about 12 inches. So I've gained about six inches on the length of this skirt. As you can see, where I have it, where the gap is, the um, width of the skirt is about the same here, where it's cut and there. It, it felt a little smaller because there was a elastic uh, waistband here, and so it looked really funny when I put it on, and I was gonna try to wear it with my waist, well, the waist would've been about here. But now, since the elastic is gone, all I have to do is pin the right sides together, which would be um, the right side of the fabric. Here is going to, well, we're going to turn this, this part inside out and then join this piece to that piece so that, you know, when it folds out, you won't see any seam. I'll show you after I, I sew it, but this should look good, I'm thinking. And then once this is sewed, sewn together, up here, I'm going to fold this over and put in a waist elastic waistband in between here where I fold it over and make a little channel. And so I'll have a new waistband here. I think it'll look pretty good. So um, once I get ready to sew, we'll come back and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so now we are going to get ready to pin the skirt so that we can sew it. As you can see, this is the back of the skirt right here. 
and this is the front here and this is all the right sides are showing so this is the piece that I want to sew here what we're going to do is we're going to turn it inside out and put it on top of the bottom piece so you see this is the inside part and so now both of the right sides of the fabric are facing each other and I'm going to pin the back portion here and the front portion here right here together and so I'm going to line up the seams so they're pretty so that the seams will match up and then I'm going to sew it like right here maybe with like a half an inch or eighth of an, uh, five eighths of an inch here and so when we flip it up when it's sewn all you'll see is a sewing sewed line here and you won't really see any seams so I'm gonna go ahead and pin this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's pinned alright so with my handy dandy pins straight pins I have pinned the top of the skirt and the bottom of the skirt together so that we can sew it so the first thing I did was I went to the seam and I tried to get the lines of the seams together so that when when it opens up you will see let me try to see it so that when it opens up the two seams will be lined up here and here so anyway so you just try to get them as close together as possible before you pin it so I, I lined that seam up and the other seam up and then I went to the middle and I pinned the middle then I went kind of in the mi uh, middle of of the two ends and I pinned one here and one here and I did the same to the back pin the middle the, and then between the middle and the edge and then I pinned one more here so I think that's all you need and because this is a knit fabric even though I've cut the fabric this will not unravel anymore you can only do that with knit let's say if you cut um, just like a regular cotton weave it would unravel and you would have to probably zigzag the edge here with your sewing machine so it wouldn't unravel more or what some people do is they cut it um, with special scissors that are jagged on the edge I forget what they're called right now um, but anyway the the special um, scissors sometimes and that helps to keep from unraveling but anyway so we will go ahead and sew this up next and after we sew that up I'll show you how to put an elastic inside here and then and then we'll try on the skirt okay so I have now sewed these two spots together so you see this is the inside out so it's right sides together and this is where I sewed them together this is my sewing line and I'm about to do something else so I have these pins in it but this is where I sewed it and so when I flip it when I flip it when I flip it um, the other way it now looks like this and what I'm gonna do here where I have these lines I just pinned down um, the back part of it so I can sew another line here just to give it some more um, rigidity stability so that in case this seam pops out I'll have another line going this way um, so that it won't uh, come undone so now once I do this this will be the skirt let me try to make it a little bit neater here the skirt looks like that now and then uh, once I sew that middle, the middle section here, I will then fold that part under and put a um, elastic waistband in it so that I can have this full skirt to wear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sew this and then start on the waistband and come back. Okay, so now I have pinned down the top of my skirt. This is inside out. This part here is the right side, and this part here is the inside. 
So I've pinned it down, and if you can see under here, I have my rubber band, uh, rubber wa uh, elastic waistband that's going to go inside. And I haven't put it together yet. There's one side of it, and the other side of it's over over here. It ends right here. And so I just want to make sure I have a big enough um, tube here for it to go through. And I'm going to sew all along this edge, and I'm going to leave myself a little gap here so that I can pull the two ends out, sew them together, and stick it back in. So I'm gonna get started here, sew it all around, leave a gap, and come back. Okay, so the waistband has been sewn. This is the inside. This is the right side, so you can see that's where the waistband line is. And then I stopped over here. And now I have pinned of an overlap almost an inch. I've pinned it together so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew a box here, 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 here and then I'm going to come down like this diagonally to give it more rigidity. If you want you can come back up and sew it again and have an X in the middle but I think it's not necessary. You can just do um, one cross either way. And then when that's done we'll take this pin off and then Pull this back down, and then sew this closed, and then we'll try it on. Okay, so here is the finished product. Unfortunately, when I went to try it on, this top part was a little too tight on me, so I ended up taking out the waistband and fitting it to my daughter's waistband size. And so she will be wearing it. And I will have her model it for you in just a moment. Okay, so here is the finished product. So here's the waistband. And so this is not as tight on her as it is on me. So it looks fine, I think. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, Obviously the pattern is a little funky over there where we join the pieces together, but all in all, I think not bad. We could also wear a shirt over the top part so it doesn't show as much, but I think it's fine the way it is. Um, it looks pretty long. See, it goes all the way down to the floor for her, but it's a summer skirt and we're in winter right, or almost in winter right now, so she may grow by the time summer rolls around, so I'm not going to do anything. But if it turns out um, that she grows, she doesn't grow and it's too long, we can always just shorten it up, either from the top or the bottom. Okay, well, I hope this video gave you some ideas and um, that you take, your, take a try at um, sewing some things for you or your family. Shalom.